Hey CrossFit Fort Vancouver family, Coach Colin coming to you live from the Mac Shack with Friday's workout briefing. One more day till we get into the weekend. So let's dig into what we have on tap for you today. It's going to be on a running clock, 18 minutes, right? Three different six minute segments. First one from zero to six, you're going to go an ascending rep scheme. 10, 20, 30, you continue up the ladder. After 30 comes what? 40 and then 50. You're gonna go object lunges, 10 of those followed by 10 sit-ups, 20 of them and then 20 sit-ups and so forth. At the six minute mark, you're gonna continue that same ascending ladder by tens, but now we're gonna go to object dumbbell or kettlebell power cleans and then object dumbbell or kettlebell rows. If you have a pull-up bar at your uh, disposal, then you're gonna do, you can do pull-ups, but we're going to have those numbers as opposed to 10, 20, 30. I'm gonna go five pull-ups the first round, and then I'll do 10 the second round, and then 15, and then after that is 20. Going back and forth between those two movements, that couplet. And then the third and final one from the 12 minute mark to the 18 minute mark, 10, 20, 30, continuing up that ladder of object dumbbell or kettlebell step ups and sit ups again. We'll dig more into those movements, but first let's go over the warm up uh, to get us going. We're gonna go through our eight minute Tabata warm up, thinking about 20 seconds of each movement followed by 10 seconds of rest. You're gonna go through arm circles forward for one second or for 20 seconds, and then you'll do arm circles backwards for 20 seconds. Finish all of this. At the end, you got burpees. We're gonna continue on our May challenge. We're gonna warm up, followed by the skill transfer exercises. So move with a purpose, move with great intent. Really think about the points of performance and the emphasis with each movement. All right, let's go through a little review of our movements in our workout. First one's gonna be that object dumbbell or kettlebell lunge. I'm gonna pop that sucker in that front rack position. I could put it on my shoulder but those lunges, striding forward, there's one rep, striding forward, there's two reps, continue in that fashion. After that, we're going into our sit-ups. If you have an ab mat, awesome. Coach, I don't have an ab mat. A great substitute, just grab a towel or a blanket, roll it up. This is gonna uh, replace the ab mat, right? And those sit-ups, just tuck it in that low back, bring those feet together, let the shoulder blades touch the ground, Sit up, touch your toes, right? Back and forth between those two movements. The second six minute segment of work, object power cleans and object rows. If I have light enough weight, I can do dumbbells in either hand. If I have a heavier weight, feel free to do this single arm. So I'm gonna have that dumbbell tracking in between my feet. I'm gonna show you single arm power cleans. I get in a good setup. Chest up, back straight, pop, catch it in that power position, that partial squat, bent knees, stand tall, return to the ground, switch arms. I can alternate as I ride it down to the ground, working on that trade off. Beautiful. 10 of those, 10 total, five in each arm, alternating, and then I go into those rows. Use that object that you're gonna use on that step up. It could be a sturdy box, it could be a uh, a cooler, a bench, a chair, right? So in those, if I'm doing single arm rows, I'm gonna have one hand resting on that object, the other two on the ground for that row. I'm gonna think about five on one side for the set of 10, and then five on the other arm to get my 10 reps. Those are the two movements for second six minute segment of work. Third segment, we have step ups. So now I use that box. I can hold that dumbbell in that front rack position on the side like a suitcase. For me, I'm just gonna stick it up on my shoulder, step up, make sure my legs extend and open up the hips at the top. Step down, alternating legs. There's step number two. Once I finish with 10, I'm going back to that ab mat, to that blanket that's folded up for my sit-ups. 10 of those, then I'll go on to 20, then I'll go on to 30 and so forth. Those are your movements for today's workout. 18 minutes of total work. For our cool down, 
What we're gonna do is we're gonna start into that child's pose. Sink those hips back, head through. And after that child's pose, we're gonna get into a little cobra stretch. Chest up, arms straight. And then last but not least, spend some time on both sides in a pigeon. So I get that leg across, back leg is straight, sink those hips down, feel that stretch in those glutes, and then give the other side some equal loving. That's Friday's workout. Thanks for tuning in and have a great weekend.